Brains are immensely complicated things, but ultimately their purpose isn't that complicated at all. It's quite basic. What brains are for, fundamentally, is to help us move in a coordinated fashion. Organisms that don't move don't have brains. Of course, moving in a coordinated fashion is very complicated. And in order to be able to move through a corridor like this, of course, I need to incorporate my senses in order not to bump into obstacles. But also, I may need to choose which direction to turn. People often think that the brain the function of the brain is something that is unbelievably complex, but that is really only very partly true. At a very basic level, neurons are just little fat bubbles that pump salty water in and out, uh, and in doing so create electrical currents, um, which they use for electrical signaling. They exchange a few chemical signals. So the scenes that I see and hear and feel all around me are really the product of activity that's happening inside my head. The visual scenes that I see, for example, are uh, created, and I choose that word advisedly, they are really created by the activity of neurons that live right at the back of my head, around here. The sounds that I hear are processed by neurons, hundreds of millions of them, that live approximately here. Um, whereas the movements that I do, that I do you know, as I point at these different structures, are coordinated by neurons along the motor strip, which runs along here. And all of this planning uh, you know, of the actions runs through frontal motor cortex loops and basal ganglia, which sit in the frontal part of the brain. So the fundamental rules of this cellular and molecular dance that uh, make all of our human experience happen are ultimately very simple. What makes it complicated is that this very simple molecular dance happens on a vast scale. Hundreds of billions of neurons operating and interacting in a very complicated way.